So, Party of Prime just dropped and so did her weapons alongside her. We got her Velox turned into a very nice looking Prime weapon, but we also got a pair of Scythes back from 2016, which is a little out of the blue, but it is a nice thing to see. That weapon being the Okina Prime. So, I have already acquired Protea Prime, Okina Prime, and Velox Prime. So, for today, we're going to be covering the Okina Prime. So, how does the Okina Prime, well, compare to the original Okina? Well, when it comes to its IBS, which is its impact puncture and slash, it has higher on, obviously, all of it. It has higher impact at 9.2, higher puncture at 64.4, and higher slash at 110.4 with a total of 184 damage, which is about 30... 30 something higher than the original and when it comes to its uh crit chance crit multiplier status and attack speed it's much higher as well being at 30 compared to 16 2.6 compared to 2 and 24 compared to 20 that's a little not as high but still good its attack speed is increased to uh 1.17 still 1.08 so how does it look like without uh any mods obviously how does it attack how does it apply well has a nice basic no stance combo, nice attack speed, and well, it doesn't seem to have any issues. Applies its puncture, slash, and all that quite well, and it attacks rather fast for it. So for today, I have two builds. I have a one, uh, I have one build for killing Corpus. I have one build for anything that hates fighting slash and viral, obviously, because until they change anything, that's still going to be the meta. So let's go ahead and get into the builds. So as I had said, I have two builds. The very first one is a corpus killer and the next one is viral plus electricity so what is the corpus killer about well it has spinning needle dreamer's wrath obviously tenokai is not required i like it so we're on it we, we are rocking blood rush weeping wounds conditional overload sacrifice still for the crit chance and if you want you could obviously take away conditional overload and run uh, sacrificial pressure that'll get you well over 96 percent crit chance and a little bit uh higher i think 110 will be the amount Vicious Frost, Voltaic Strike, Berserker Fury. This is not required. You can easily make this be a 60-60 mod. I just wanted to use it because of a dash that was already on the weapon. I believe it was already on the weapon. No. <laughs> nope, it was just V's. Uh, this was my own hubris, but I do like having it there. So we're running Melee Vortex and Toxin. So obviously, Protea Prime does not help uh, melee weapons at all. So how does it fare? Well, quite well, in my opinion. As soon as we get a Magnetic Proc kill which is a struggle, it seems, because it's a percent chance, and you're not guaranteed it, it seems. There we go. It puts them all together, and, well, you just kind of... They kind of just explode with ease. So, obviously, let's do that again. Obviously, I would use a Corpus Battle Group, but I don't have them scanned, so... You get one of those procs, and then it kind of just... It kind of just keeps, keeps going. Obviously, that builds strong, quite strong, even. And it's meant for fighting the corpus but like i said mods are interchangeable obviously you can make this be a 60 60 mod and give yourself even more status on top of weeping wounds but it's obviously up to you but i like how this build works because berserker's fury gives it a bit more attack speed and if i could i if there was like a possibility to get more slots like two extra slots i'd add prime breach just for that a little bit more range but let's go ahead and move on to the next build so that was the corpus killer build as we saw it's very strong and hits quite hard but what about the viral electricity build well this build here is basically it it runs off melee influence to take advantage of the fact that it will spread and the whole build is there to spread viral as you to keep attacking so obviously how does it fare also i just now realized i didn't do steel path on those enemies one second let me go ahead and show it off for steel path and then we'll go on to the viral electricity build i did ever even realize that so Corpus Killer build once again. How does it fare against Steel Path enemies? Well, about, about the same. As long as I can get a Magnetic Proc eventually to proc, uh, you'll see them all get pulled in. But as you see, it doesn't struggle to kill anybody. There they go. As soon as you get the Magnetic Proc, it pulls them in. So let's go back to the other build, like I said. Opina. We have our Vile Electricity build. So how does it fare? Well, I'd say it also does quite well. So let's go ahead and head over here and... Sadly, I'm not getting the electricity proc. There we go. Once we get the electricity proc, everybody just starts having viral and stuff get spread to them and then you just keep holding your melee key or whatever you press it as. Mine's V and or left click and then you just keep spreading it. Obviously, this weapon should be paired with abilities, but as you see, it doesn't struggle to do its job as it is. 
it kills, it spreads, it does what I'm looking for, but obviously, you're not just going to smack this weapon around and not use any abilities with it. So, let's go ahead and add a couple abilities into it with a different frame and see how it fares. So, who am I going to mix into this build? Well, to me, it's quite obvious who I'm going to mix into this build because it is my melee frame I use. I have a couple, we could obviously do Korra, we could do uh, Excalibur for his stuff, Dagath, we could even do Naja. But I'm going to be using Frost Prime. The reason for my Frost Prime option is because he has Armor Strip, and with my certain build, he has Ensnare. So, why is that important? Well, when I spawn in all these enemies, they're obviously still path enemies, and they're going to have their benefits, downsides, etc. So, what am I going to do? I'm just going to Ensnare them. When I Ensnare them, they get closer to each other, and it makes it easier for me to just do this. And get free stacks. But obviously, that's not the only thing you're going to do with a uh, thing. With your build obviously you're going to use all your abilities as long as they are useful so let's mix all of them let's ensnare put them together and then press four which armor strips them there went all the uh, enemy's health simple as that but obviously the ai is frozen what if i didn't what if i didn't pause the ai well same thing is still going to happen i'm going to hit ensnare i'm going to walk over i'm going to press four and then i'm going to melee Simple as that, and they just explode. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and find a location to go, and I'm going to pick one of the builds. More than likely, instead of fighting the um, Corrupted, I'm going to actually use the Corpus Killer build, and I'm going to go fight a... Uh, my brain would work. I'm going to go fight in the Corpus Survival's own Steel Path. So, I'll see y'all there. So, here we are in a Corpus Survival. So, I went ahead and brought my Burst on. A weapon I was supposed to do a review on, but forgot to. And I also brought my Okinas. We're using the Corpus Killer build. I brought Mag instead of Frost, and we're going to hope that <laughs> I can actually do something here. So let's go ahead and trigger that alarm. And see how we do, because I'm worried. Mainly because it's going to take one mess up, and I could possibly probably just keel over and die instantly. Yep, there it is, because I was too late on pressing one button. I usually don't play Mag like this, I never play her for melee, I use, usually use her purely for, uh, uh, blah blah blah, what is the name of it? My Latron build, with Magnetize. But obviously, as we can tell, the build does still work in here, I just wish I could aim better. Why did I stop meleeing? Melee. There we go. I was like, why, why did it stop meleeing? All I wanted to do was melee. Obviously, I should probably try to get my burst on Incarnon ready for in case I have to use it. So let's go ahead and get that real quick. Actually, hold on. Let's use this instead. A dual toxic Incarnon. The thing I spent a lot of time trying to get. Look at that. Look at it go crazy. So obviously, as we see, it's not having any issues currently. And hell, there's a... Uh, there's an Xmas unit. There was an Xmas unit. But as we see, the build has no issues currently. So, uh, I'm going to keep going through this mission, and as soon as a Acolyte will spawn, uh, I'm going to go ahead and come back to y'all. So, I'll be back when an Acolyte spawns. Alright, well, it seems like an Acolyte has already decided to start spawning, so which Acolyte are we getting today? Ah, we're getting Malice. I believe this is the one who wields an Opticore, too, so we're going to have a little bit of a problem fighting this one, but we should be fine. Yeah, he is wielding an Opticore, who would have thought? Well, um, oops. <laughs> Seems he died a little too fast to the Magnetic and uh, Toxin build. It doesn't seem like he was really built to deal with it that quickly. So, uh, I'm going to keep killing a little bit more just just to show you that this weapon does do quite well it's just simply just goes around stab 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 occasionally get a magnetic proc pull everybody in and then just keep going hell even xmas units can't deal with it whack 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 blitz xmas already dead it's just really fun to use this just easy press this strip their shields etc so i'm gonna head and finish up this mission i'll head back to the orbiter wow that was a nice pull and I'll give my final thoughts on how this weapon feels overall, and then 
we'll wrap up there. So, how do I feel about this weapon? Overall, I think the Okina Prime is really not that bad of a weapon. Is it a meta weapon? Obviously not, no. Almost everybody nowadays, if you're using a melee weapon, is using this thing. It's, it's expected. Or they're using some form of an Incarnal that helps them, like the Dual Ors, or the Hate, or uh, a Zal, for example. Or something that they know will do them justice for what they need. But obviously, it is a fun weapon to use. It's a pair of size that are really strong, really fast at attacking, and hit quite really, quite really, quite hard even. You can build multiple different ways. You can build for Vials Electric with Melee Influence. You can build for Corpus with Magnetic Toxin. You can also use Gas, but I don't recommend Gas until they really fix it. And apparently they're eventually changing Blast, so maybe Blast will eventually be a build option. So, obviously, uh, this will be one of three parts. We're first going to go over the Okina Prime. We'll then proceed to be going over the Velox Prime. And then finally, we'll be covering our girl Protea Prime. So, if you guys want to see more of these in a more rapid succession, I will try to put these out faster, but make sure you guys do hit that like button and do subscribe and turn on post notifications so you guys always get notified of when I'm ready. Live. Live? When I post a video and it goes live. There we go. Proper English. But, I'll see you guys in the Velox video. Peace out. Have a great rest of your day.